Hey, what's up guys? Justin Johnson here. Today I'm going to be giving you a first look at the newest model from Mule Resophonic. Um, it's going to be the Modest Mavis is the name of the model of the guitar. The original Mavis uh, model I've got right here. I've been playing this one for a couple years and um, love this guitar. You've probably seen me play it a lot if you're following my channel in videos. It's been on several albums of mine. It's been on two album covers already of mine. And you know, it's just a killer guitar. It looks killer, it plays killer. So the demand uh, for these guitars over the years has been so high that there's actually a pretty long waiting list to get on uh, if you wanna get one of these guitars. They're all built to order, they're all custom. And so that takes quite a while um, when you wanna order one. So to fill that demand, uh, Mule Resophonic though, they just came out with uh, basically like a spin-off version of this model and it's called the Modest Mavis. The reason I call it the Modest Mavis is uh, essentially it's like a modest version of the Mavis right here. The goal, uh, what they say, is basically to give you a very similar guitar, very similar tone, very similar feel, but at a lower cost and uh, something that's immediately available. So uh, I'll put this baby down, grab the Modest Mavis, and uh, let's dig in and see what she's got. All right, here it is. And man, look at this. This is awesome. I mean, when you compare them back to back, honestly, um, there's, you don't notice much of a difference. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty incredible. That oil finish, the, um, that aged look to the resonator. This one has that sort of bronze finish to it. And, uh, man, it just looks like you dug it up, you know, out of, uh, out of an old grave in the Mississippi Delta or something like that. It's killer. It also has the same resonator cone here. It has the same pickup. These are mules, uh, pickups right here. And when you hold it, I mean, honestly, the, the neck, the, the nice oil finish, everything feels exactly the same. You know, you almost wouldn't be able to tell which model you're holding just by a, a blind taste test. One of the main conspicuous differences I see is that there is a wooden pit guard instead of like the tortoise shell style pit guard on the original Mavis. Again, it's an aesthetic thing, and I could see some people actually liking the wood even better. It's just a cool different look. I, I, I dig them both, honestly. So there's no like binding or anything around the sides. Um, on the original Mavis, there's actually like a, a slight carved, like an arch top kind of carved to the back. You can see on this one, it's a flat back. So it, it's again, they're just saving time in the construction. That doesn't really have anything to do with the sound. I also love the tailpiece right here. It's a, it's a really stout uh, metal. It's bent here, but it's got that uh, laser cut M, that, that really nice uh, mule M uh, right there. Just super classy. And the antiquing, you know, the aesthetics on this are so dialed in. They're so right. You got these vintage tuners, um, these open, open gear tuners on the back here. You see that? Those look really nice. And so, you know, if you're maybe new to the concept of what a resonator guitar is, basically the resonator guitar is, is defined by this right here. There's a metal cone under the bridge here. And then when you play the strings, the cone vibrates like a speaker and it pushes the sound out. So you get this really cool tone. You know, and what I like about it, I always kind of describe it as like, it's almost like it has built-in distortion to the acoustic tone. What makes this a little bit different than, let's say, a traditional resonator guitar is that it doesn't have a hollow body, you know? Most resonator guitars, they're either metal-bodied or they're wooden-bodied, but they have, you know, it's kind of like an acoustic guitar. They have a thicker body, it's hollow, and so it, it sounds a little different. The concept behind the Mavis models, and, and same thing as with the uh, Modest Mavis, just like this one, is that it's, it's basically like a solid body electric guitar that also has this resonator component. So it doesn't have quite as much acoustic volume as a full bodied like acoustic resonator guitar. It has a little bit more of like this banjo sort of muted tone, which is really sort of lonesome and creepy sounding and really cool. But what's nice is that it's a lot louder than let's say a standard electric guitar or even a hollow body or semi hollow body. So it has a lot of, it still has a lot of acoustic presence. So I'm gonna do that before I plug it in. Let me just uh, play a little bit for you and give you the vibe of what it sounds like in the room unplugged.
Oh yeah. So you can see it's got that Delta Blues soul to it. it, it like I said, it kind of sounds like an acoustic guitar with a little distortion on it, you know? But then, baby, you got this pickup on here and you can plug it into an electric guitar amp and just get all the rock and roll tones, get a this nice, uh, well, before I describe it, let's uh, plug it in and let me just uh, play it for you. All right, so I'm in the same tuning, gonna play a similar thing, but this time the only difference is that I'm gonna be plugged into the amp and you're gonna be hearing the tone of basically what it sounds like in the room mixed with that sound that's coming from the amp. just so nice you know it surprises me how warm these guitars are you know this sounds to me exactly like the original Mavis sounded I mean I really can't tell a lot of a, a difference in the tone there's a volume and a tone knob on the original Mavis on the modest Mavis right here there's no knobs at all the pickup is wired into the quarter inch jack down here at the bottom and basically um, that means that the tone you get is the tone you dial in the amp. You know, you just use your amp and your pedals to get your tone instead of using the volume and tone knobs to sort of adjust those things. But it's kind of nice. They do tell you uh, from Mule that they, they still carve a hollow um, channel here so that if you wanted to later, you wanted to install a volume knob or you wanted to install tone and volume, anything like that, at least you have the room to do it. You just have to move some of the, uh, rewire the electronics, move some of that stuff around but you don't have to do any major surgery on the guitar in order to get that. But generally, when I play my original Mavis, I, I turn the volume all the way up, I turn the tone all the way to the bright side, and I just leave it there. And so this basically has the tone I always use on that guitar, but kind of built into it anyways. So to me, it sounds just right. Another thing that's great about playing slide on these is that the uh, the radius on the fretboard is totally flat. There's no rounded, there's no radius to it. And what that means is that when you're playing slide, because the slide is flat and you have a flat radius, you can really easily play the slide on this guitar, even with, you know, pretty low action. 
So you want the action low, like the string height low, so that you can fret nicely, you know, easily. But then when it comes to playing slide, a lot of times players want to boost the action up so that you're not hitting the frets when you're playing slide. When you have a, a bow, like a, I mean a radius to the fretboard, what happens is the, the middle part of that radius wants to hit the slide and then the strings are rounded. You can never really play all six strings at the same time. So with this flat fretboard though, with no radius, you can play all six strings really easily because all of them make contact with that slide. That also makes a lot of techniques like doing octaves, you know, and open tunings really easy. And I do that a lot in my playing, you know, so I might want to play a riff like... And then I can do the octave. And that is very hard to do, if not impossible, when you're playing a guitar that has a radius to the fretboard. Another thing that I find is a challenge with resonators across the board is intonation in general. You know, the bridge down here on a resonator is kind of like an acoustic guitar. It's sort of like a fixed bridge position. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And so if the action or the placement of the bridge is off, uh, even slightly, it can really affect how in tune the guitar plays when you're fretting it. You know, if you don't know what intonation is specifically, it is basically um, how in tune the position of each of these frets are. So when you tune the string um, and, and the strings are open and they're in tune, and then you move up here to let's say the third fret, if the, if the intonation's out, that's gonna go way sharp or way flat. But on the mules, it's always spot on. And that is, again, it is very tricky to do with the resonator, but it's one of the things I like about the, the mule guitars so much is that you can play them the same way you would play an acoustic or an electric guitar. You can fret them, you can play them in standard tuning. You don't have to play them with a guitar slide in order to get that kind of cool resonator uh, tone out of them. So I had been playing an open D tuning, but I'm gonna pop it into standard tuning and play a little something in standard for you. <laughs> Yeah, man, it plays just like an electric. It's also, you know, it's got the electric strings on it. So the strings are just by nature, electric guitar strings are always a little bit easier to play than acoustic strings. And the reason you want electric strings on this guitar is not just because it's, you know, it's built like a solid body electric, but because it's got that magnetic pickup. And, and whenever you have a magnetic pickup, you always want to have electric strings on it. You get a lot more of the bass presence. You get a lot more of the tone out of the strings. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I knew I would and uh, it's exceeding my expectations. Oh, and you know, one more detail. I just noticed it is that the, um, the cover right here on the bridge, it actually has screws on it. And what that means is you can take this off. Some, some players are used to playing resonators uh, with these right here, but um, some, some guitar players hate them because you can't palm mute as easily. You can't lay your palm on the strings the way you would, like if you're used to having that bridge just flat there. 
So you can take these off and remove them and then you get a different feel on your right hand when you're playing the guitar. It's, it's a little bit more, even more like an electric guitar. All right, guys, so that's it. That's my, uh, that's my first look uh, at, the, at the Modest Mavis from Mule Resophonic. Um, I've got their website here in the description and all of that. So check them out, show them some love. And um, man, I'm gonna be enjoying this baby. I'm sure you're gonna be seeing it in a lot of upcoming videos. And make sure while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out my members only section here on YouTube also where I'm doing uh, guitar lessons, interactive guitar lesson live streams, concert live streams, all that good stuff. Just uh, check that by hitting the join button here right under this video on YouTube. But uh, thanks for watching guys, you rock. See you next time.